Hi the Magpie! Welcome to yet another video manual. This time for this, the pocket drone. So, the pocket drone is one of these cases where I simply could not help myself. I made the beehive and I put it somewhere, which is like my official drone synthesizer. So it's as many oscillators as possible in as small of a footprint as possible. But when I had developed it, I figured that wouldn't it be super mega cute to make a baby version of the beehive? And that's what led me to make this, the pocket drone. Just as a size comparison, it doesn't even fit in frame. And I mean, that's the name and everything, you know, it's the pocket edition. I had a lot of fun developing it also, uh, because it's uh, way s harder to make something to fit in a tiny, tiny box than in a bit bigger of a box. Obviously, not as many oscillators, but we still have 12 actually. These four are volume. And these 12 are oscillators and it's divided like that. So three oscillators, one volume knob, three oscillators, one volume knob, so on and so forth. And the top row of oscillators are tuned a bit higher in pitch, uh, just so you can get even more out of it, actually, as far as range goes. All analog and it does work on a nine volt battery. Doesn't have to, we have a power jack, but yeah, I was able to actually fit that in as well, which was surprisingly hard. Oh, there we go. Only one jack on this one, as you can see. On the beehive, we have one jack per row. So up here, each of these rows goes to an individual output and they all sum up to the last one, uh, just to get more out of something as primitive as the beehive or the pocket drone for that matter. Uh, but what I did here is I have a balanced output or stereo jack. So what you can do is you can either go with a mono cable, but then you only get these two rows out on that channel. You can also go with a balanced cable. It's got both a tip and a ring. And then you get these two on the tip and these two on the ring or you can do as I like to do, which is going with one of these Y cables, which is like stereo on the one side, and then you get two mono out on the other, meaning that you can make panorations and stuff like that. You can separate the, the two halves of uh, the pocket drone, just to get more out of it. So that's what we're gonna do now. And I'm probably gonna like effect half of it. Or I mean both halves, probably. We have a green on and off button, super cute, and a light. So let's do a bit of a sound check, I guess. Actually, let's introduce some effect right away. Because as far as doing a video manual goes, this is about it. There's a link in the description if you want to pick one of these up. I'm not sure how many I'm going to make of this. This was just a fun project since I had already designed the schematic for a big one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, link in the description if you want to pick one up. It really supports me and it warms my heart. So just a bonus for you, I guess.
just want to say this is the bubbles this is the lust also in the web shop in the description this is a double delay that you can have in series of parallel very lo-fi very lo-fi this is a sequence delay uh also very lo-fi let's continue <laughs> figure out how to perform with it <laughs> really fun um yeah it sounds awful thank you for watching <laughs> no but it sounds awful in a really good way it's uh, pretty pretty thick uh, to be this small also you have the opportunity to get number one i stamp everything on the back side so hey, hey, just so you know first one to buy one gets number one but uh i don't feel like i need to show you anymore super straightforward i have a couple of more video manuals that i have to do for example for lust and uh, yeah hopefully some of you are looking forward to it it's something that i really have to do so uh it's gonna be coming up soon maybe bulk it or something i don't know need to get it done anyways uh bye now